okay so I'm making a video again uh, over what I predicted I don't know I don't get no coverage but uh, I'll make this kind of quicker uh, from watching some videos and watching some other things uh, I know what I heard from God but watching the confirmations and putting a few things together um guy from guns and gadgets god bless you man thank you for all the information you put out there so everybody can have it that listens to you uh and watching i just watched this uh news clip from fox Robert Giuliani's uh, interview on Fox with, uh, man, what's her name? Uh, I apologize to her, you, her, I apologize to that woman. Forgot her name. Sorry. Anyways, the fact of the matter that I've been saying that Obama should not have been on in office. For one reason or another, he should not have been in office. And my one original claim was that he was not an American citizen. Two, his wife was a husband. Uh, we found out he's not an American citizen. His birth certificate is a sham. Uh, he was born in Kenya, not Detroit, because it was, oh, we, we were talking about, um, Hawaii, now we're talking about Detroit, now we're talking about somewhere else, now after he's out of office, we find out everything, but let's not focus on him too much, just, I don't want to get off on a tangent, the thing is about Joe Biden. He was the president, the vice president, excuse me. No good. Robert Giuliani exposes him on that interview. Exposure. Boy, turn on the lights, cockroaches go running. Whoo! <laughs> Jeez. Come on, man. The exposure got real. Now what I mentioned with the guy with the guns and gadgets is what I've been saying too. China ain't liking the fact that Americans have so many galling guns. Americans have more guns now than uh, probably ever. China don't like it. Joe Biden don't like it. What do you do? He asked that one guy, man, I forget his name too. I'm poor on names right now. The uh, the guy, hell yeah, I'm going to take your AR-15s, I'm coming after them, AK-47s, you heard me. Like the dude up there that said that, I forgot his name. I kept calling him Spinetti, but I, don't know, I know that's the wrong name. But I, man, I just apologize to people. I'm not trying to disrespect anybody yet, so I'm apologizing for butchering your name. Even if you are my adversary or my enemy, I give you some type of respect until you start slandering me, then it's time. But until you do that, I will show mutual respect. I don't hate my enemies because it's, uh, I don't want to become them. I don't want to become just like you and how you are. Don't want to imitate you. That's why I don't hate you. But. I really don't like you. And I'd love to see all you traitors hung by the neck until death or lethal injection for treachery in office of the highest office says that you can get for treason to the Constitution of the United States for being a sellout, for being a crooked sellout. I've called it, I've prophesied it, I've predicted it. Now Robert Giuliani is exposing 
what I've been saying for the last, I don't know, uh, since 2014. I've been exposing Obama, at least trying to, exposing the crooked crap, saying that the second time that he was in office, he should not have gotten office. You know, if, uh, a man that passed away, oh, the governor from Arizona, the old, the old governor, oh, uh, crap, terrible with names right now, it's early in the freaking morning, I woke up, I had something exciting to say and I had to say it because I saw that video <clears throat> oh man he was no good either but uh, man he was in on the shambles too he ran for Republican Party against Obama on his second term He probably would have won it if he would have exposed Obama for what he was. I knew he had the information. He could have exposed and showed the American people. And American people would have loved him and took him on. And he would have been president instead of Obama. But the cheating polls, you know. Obama probably promised him a senator position. And it, uh, there's more things that I can say that I can prove. But the spirit of God's with me anyways. I, I can tell you what. I know I'm poor with names. Need another video. The names will come back to me. I need to stop doing videos early in the morning with no coffee. But I need to do these videos as soon as I feel to do them. Because uh, I just need proof that I'm, t I'm saying this. I need proof that I'm dropping this. I need proof that uh, I'm not taking this information from another prophet or another man or another whatever. I'm hearing straight from the Almighty Maker himself. If not, I'm hearing from the angels that are delivering me messages. I'm not hearing from no man, but man's hearing from me, and they're not acknowledging me, and they're running off with what I have to say. At times, it's what I feel. It's like, there are not many people who acknowledge the fact of what I said. Yeah. You know, it's so cool, you know. I'm happy for Marcus Rogers getting his uh, little recognition there. But, um,. He's not the one who said it. I'm the one who said it. He said he had a dream. He said he had things going on that God showed him. And he's still titter-tottering. Like, I just wish the man could just grow firm in his faith. Could being like Peter and Doubting Thomas at one time. I got nothing personal against the man. I love him with the blood, love of Jesus Christ, but man, uh, just like humans are, everybody gets under everybody's nerves at one time, one point in time or another. God bless the man, but I uh, got my, I'm not gonna let my personal feelings get in the way. Ministry was stolen from me when I was young. Ministry was stolen from me and lied to me. I asked uh, a bishop that is now an apostle. He lied to me and I didn't get my minister's license. I asked a pastor of a potter's house. I asked a, the bishop at the time of the uh, firehouse, fireside was now an apostle. I asked the pastor of Elevation of the Saints. They all told me, yeah, 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 we'll work on it. We'll help you out. We'll get you there. They all fell through and lied to me. So, as far as I'm concerned, 
I don't need a piece of paper anyways to prove who I am. I get mad. The earth trembles. The earth knows that some nation or some people is going to be hurt. I get mad in 2013 Berlin freezes over with four feet of snow, three feet of snow, overnight. I get mad, what, three years ago at the racist nonsense of South Africa? Earthquakes happen and thousands of people die. I get mad because my wife tells me, goes, my what, third wife that God sent me, tells me, go buzz off, be your. I get mad. I say, you know what? I'm going to drop my sword on my own country. You know what's bad? Uh -uh, I'm, this is, might be embarrassing to most Christians, but I'm, I'm not even embarrassed. I'm tired of it. I had 80 bucks in my pocket. I go up and find a prostitute. It's like, look, I got 80 bucks right here. I show her the cash. Like, give me five minutes. Give me ten, five, ten minutes. 80, 80 bucks. 80, 80 bucks for 10 minutes. Like, whatever. Guess what? Oh, hell no! Run away! Like, running, screaming, like... Run, like one of those uh, horror flicks that... The girl's running, breathing hard, like... Freddy or Jason's chasing after her, something like that. Like, scream, just screaming, top of bloody murder, top of lungs. Like, wow, like... Sweet, the money I asked him for what? the heck did I do? Can't get nothing for nothing. Can't win for losing. Can't lose for win. It can't do, can't move. I mean, uh, shoot. Take a look at this. This is one of the first times and only times I'm probably going to show you this. God has done some things for me. Proof. Now find these rings on and about. Where is it? Okay, these rings. One ring. That's for wife one. Where's the other ring? Ring two for wife two. This is gold. This one's 18 carat. This is 16 carat. Here's the other one. We we'll have another gold one. This is what this one was for her. That's 16 carat with uh, onyx. Fifteen carat with a uh, David Sapphire. I have three rings for three wives. God gave me di in different times here, uh, and He gave me one ring for her. Like for what? Just to be mocked and made fun of? Oh, where's your wife? Are you married yet? Oh, here's an another sixteen carat. Gold ring with white gold for me. That you know, wife four. Four wives that told me and my God go to hell, go die in a ditch somewhere. God in heaven, the Almighty Creator. I should have been married a long time ago. Four. Four. And this one here, like I said, this one here was, you know, God gave me this for her. These four rings were for me. Mine, for me. This one 
he gave me on the side for her because he was sure that whoever she was going to show up was going to be. You're tired of this, man. I got mad at God for so long it wasn't even funny. I realized it wasn't God's fault. I realized it wasn't God's fault. It's man's fault. Christians lied to me again because they say God is in control of everything. God is not in control of everything. So, God is not in control of man's free will. You've been lied to and you've passed on the lie so ignorantly you don't understand what is going on. Get your head out of the sand. I'm trying to keep it clean as I can, so. I hope you understand my metaphor and where I'm coming from. It's not fun when God tells you something that's going to happen. And it doesn't happen because man decides, I don't think so. I don't care. I don't want it. No. You know, I do thank God for this. You know, we, we the few prophets have prophesied for Trump to run two consecutive terms back to back and win the election. What was it that was about? This, this here, you know, Trump had a choice to fight for this second election. Now, he could have sat out. He could have said, you know what? Pfft, fine. Cool. Whatever. Trump could have honestly broke the prophecy himself and quit out and said, time out. I'm done. I'm through. Forget this crap. You know, I know God said I was supposed to be in office for this long, but uh, I'm tired of the fight. I'm tired. and No, I got better things to do. He, he could have. Skip the repercussions, skip the consequences. That's what he could have said, and he could have sat down because that's his choice. Just like my wives had a choice when they said, no, screw you, and God in heaven, and all of the above, and whatever. I'm going my own way. I don't want a prophet for a husband. I want a man of God for a husband. I don't want somebody who is right for me. I want... No, Trump could have done the same thing. Uh, screw, screw this country. I want something better. I'm gonna. I got the move, the money to move to wherever I want to go to, and nobody can touch me where I want to go. So he could have done the same thing. He could have broke the prophecy. But no, he's standing strong. He's fighting. He's got this lawyer on board. He's got other lawyers on board, and they're gonna win. They've already exposed, they got all the evidence to expose the, the nasty foulness. Also, like I've been saying, you know, uh, Hitler used the FBI to run Trump down for his term in office. Is Trump going to use the FBI to really investigate Biden? There's the animosity there. There's... How are you going to use the same system that came after you and, and tried to lie and break your constitutional rights? You've been mad. You, you understand that people today are still mad at the police for shooting their sons and daughters on the street for no good reason other than the color of their skin or perception. Oh, he had a gun. It was his phone, boy. The cop's a boy because the cop can't understand that a black phone with earbuds is not a gun and people will get mad like how are you going to use the police for your, for help if you're mad at them same thing with Trump Trump now understands I know he was hollering law and order and, and he didn't get get it but now he understands the corruption he understands it's all the way up here it's all the way down here Trump said it at the beginning of his thing he loved the cops. He loved them for the position and everything else. Now he's understanding that not all cops are good cops. They're, the orders 
that are foul and the corruption is all the way at the top. All the way at the top. And we all know crap rolls downhill. There's a lot of work to be done in the justice system and transparency on all that. There's a lot of work to be done. But now that he sees it, he sees faults. He sees a lot that he should have saw walking in. But not everybody's perfect like that. No, not everybody sees everything. I'm sure he's busy with all the shenanigans going on in there. But anyways, I'm trying to give you some hope. The man sees things that now he's planning on fixing and fighting for. You might be mad at him and have a per something personal against him, but man, let him try and fix some things. It's a lot better choice than Biden. You don't need a communist country coming in and, and securing themselves in this nation. It's a storm's coming either way. Who, whoever gets office is, but a storm is coming, but. I'm very, very sure that the prophecy is going to go through since Trump decided to fight for it. God's backing him up. I don't care what army on this earth tries to succeed him. It's not going to happen right now. It's not going to happen. Just remember God has spoken. Every time God has spoke to a nation about their leader, it, pillars of foundation in, in the earth have stood still for that person. So, with that said, God bless you all.